Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. Today we are in the gorgeous natural park of Sierra Helada, situated right between Benidorm and Altea town. And we are here as every Monday and Friday to let you know all the latest Benidorm news. We have three news to share with you all today. Obviously, the first one will be about the situation in tourism. The very, very important event probably one of the most important ones in Spain and especially for our Valencian community region that you cannot miss. It's an authentic tradition that's been here since decades and it's something we all love. And if you will be here towards the second half of March, you definitely need to participate. The second news will be about the Poniente Beach and the brand new exposition, the big change that we will see there that you will be able to visit up until next year march 2025 and the last news will be about another fire that police do not does not reveal exactly how it originated but i'm quite sure we all know what is happening and this time a building was involved and the last bit of today's news update will be about the weather in our region. There's going to be a lot of changes this week from one day to the other. Unexpected changes. So stay tuned to know the weather in Benidorm for March. Happy 1st of March, everyone. Let's go. Let's start with the situation in tourism first. As you all know, we've seen the streets quite busy. The city of Benidorm, Albir, all the coastal area is looking really really busy for the last week or two more or less and even busier it will be towards the second half of march there is a very important celebration that is the most important in general in our valencian community and together with san fermines north spain this celebration is the most well known in the whole entire Spain. We are talking about Fayas. Fayas is an incredible celebration that is usually held for a couple of weeks, but the most important days are the last four or five of the celebration because that's when we see giant sculptures all over the city. The biggest event obviously will be in Valencia because that's the heart of our community. That's where the biggest celebration comes from. But in Benidorm and in Alicante, we will also see it happening. These are smaller or bigger, even giant monuments made of specific inflammable um, paints and uh, wood and a lot of other different things that are actually burned really, really well. They're painted really, really colorful. And some of them are like satire. Some of them are sarcastic. Some of them are just with humor or showing uh, basically all the sweat people uh, dropped this year, this past year, 2023, the most important things that have been happening in politics, something we shouldn't be laughing about, but that's the only way to survive the issues and the problems of this situation now in a day. So they put it on these sculptures and on the last day of Fayas, these sculptures, these monuments are burned to the ground with firefighters, with firecrackers, mascleta, and it's just fun to watch. And it's supposed to be, once again, the official beginning of spring in Spain and also the official beginning of brand new life to make things basically better. And it's curious because if you count how many celebrations Benidorm, and not only Benidorm, Spain has in general, uh, almost all these celebrations are burning something or burying something like burial in the ground or burning or anything, like destroying the thing to start from fresh, to start like have a fresh start and have a new better life. But we actually do it like every two, three months. So it's curious if you think about it, you know, we have a fresh start, symbolic fresh start, of course, every two to three months in Spain, because all the celebrations basically end up with the same thing. But this also is the beginning of spring. So we love it. We love this tradition. We love joining it and showing it to you guys this year. Obviously, we will be there as every single year to show you the 
most of it and it will be starting to celebrate from 15th till 19th of March. These are the most important days, even though from this weekend, the official start of Fayas is already here. But the monuments will be placed towards the end of it, towards 14th, 15th. And then you have four days to watch them, to look at them, to make some lovely pictures and study what they want to tell us with them. And afterwards, on the 19th in the evening, we have the burning of these monuments in different parts of Benidorm. You will also be able to see it in Alicante and Valencia. So you can travel to different places to explore if you're a fan of typical traditional celebrations in Spain and especially in our region. The last day 19th at 6 30 there is going to be a parade it's not going to be too big but still it's a parade 6 30 usual streets as it always goes for example street of rusafa and you will be able to enjoy it if you are here in benidorm you can check out for other places as well alicante or valencia if you want to head there or if you maybe are staying there there should be parades as well there should be mascletal firecrackers there should be uh, the burning of the monuments and a lot of different interesting events so don't miss it the second news that i wanted to share with you all is about the poniente beach as you know poniente beach is already called apart from rainbow promenade it's also called the open air museum of benidorm why it's called this way because poniente beach especially after pandemics before it wasn't the case but after pandemics uh, the town hall decided that we could actually expand all the cultural offer that Benidorm has. So they've decided why not to leave sculptures on the open air. It's not raining here a lot. The weather is not bad at all. There's a lot of sunny days. And if nothing happens with the sunshine to the sculptures, we might as well leave them on the Poniente Beach promenade and let everyone enjoy it every single day. It's a free open air museum. What can be better than that? And we had our lovely colorful swans from the artist Yung Yi. We've also had uh, different types of sculptures this past year, but now it all changed and we have a brand new theme. This year, there's going to be the exposition of Costa Rican artist, very famous one by the way. This um, exposition has traveled the world by now and now it's here in Benidorm. They've chosen it because of the views, because of the incredible combination of the island of Benidorm, of the promenade, of the old town views, the mountains, and they feel this is what the exposition represents. So Benidorm is an ideal place for it. The name of this exposition in Spanish is El Viaje de la Vida. In English, we could translate it as the trip of your life. Very nice name, isn't it? And you will be able to see it up until March next year. These are uh, different sculptures. There are six of them. They're quite big in size. And these sculptures are made out of two materials, marble and bronze. And each of them weighs between six and seven tons. These sculptures symbolize uh, very nice things. They symbolize um, some of the elements that are fundamental, that are necessary in the process of living, of the life itself. For example, we have dream, we have charm, we have consciousness and refugee, and a lot of others of them. In between, there are a couple of others. Thousands of people will be able to enjoy these sculptures during their visit to Benidorm town. And obviously by each one of them, you'll have its history, you'll have its name, the artist, and something about it if you're curious to know slightly more and what it actually symbolizes exactly for this particular artist. And I do think it's great that Benidorm has this alternative, that they have so, so many cultural uh, experiences to offer apart from the typical museum that is situated in the heart of Benidorm next to the old town we have more and more interesting places to visit so obviously Benidorm is becoming a cultural place not only for sunny holidays by the beach by the sea shore 
uh, or in the natural parks. It's becoming a very, very popular cultural place, which makes us extremely happy. The last news that I wanted to share with you all, it's not as positive as the two previous ones are. And it's about a brand new fire. Lately, we've been seeing quite a few of them in the same area of Benidorm. And this fire was um, originated in an abandoned nightclub situated on the road where the Penelope nightclub is. There is probably a few decades ago, that area was very, very famous. We have a video actually showing you that exact area here on the channel, the alley of the street of the nightclubs. And it was extremely popular. The nightclubs were open. There was like some girls like dancing clubs, like dancers, etc. Like exotic dancers, if you know what I mean. But after some time, after years, um, people just did not go there anymore and they became abandoned. The buildings are there, but they're completely abandoned and only a couple of these nightclubs are actually open to public, all in some specific celebrations or in summer season. So one of these nightclubs, the KM, of this road um, had a fire this week. Uh, luckily, firefighters and police department went to it because people alerted on time and they were able to extinguish the fire. However, there are two opinions right now here and I would like to know what you actually think. Uh, you all know that it's situated in the area of Rincon de Loich. This is the area that's expanding, that is changing right now. This is the area that has an amazing, incredible projects for hotels and residential homes, for green areas, parks, lakes, swimming pools, uh, the shopping mall. All of it will be gorgeous once it's done. But there are some people living in this area that do not have actually the property title. So they are, they live in a place just because they overtook that house, like abandoned house, and they live there, okay? But they are not the owners of the place as it is. The vast majority of them at least are not. So they were fighting for it, and the closer the machines are getting, the closer the works are getting to their houses where they actually live right now, uh, they are not happy with it. So the first fire last year that originated in that specific area because they were burning the garbage on purpose in several locations at the same time, uh, people needed to be evacuated. It was really, really strong. We had sirens in Benidorm. It was really bad thing. Okay. Luckily, it got extinguished. Afterwards, there was another teeny tiny fire. Then this year, right now, just a week or two ago, I suppose, we had another fire in that area that got extinguished, luckily on time. It was small, but once again, it was garbage burning, like litter burning. So it was intentional fire. We all know it. No need to, to say it uh, because we all know what's happening, those who live here. And uh, right now we have this fire. People have two opinions. Let's see which one you actually um, support. One is that maybe there were some people that are homeless that were um, staying the night in, the, in this abandoned nightclub because outside at night it's quite cold, it's quite chilly, and they wanted to stay somewhere overnight and something happened, they tried to heat themselves, maybe they, um, they slept with a cigarette or anything and like this the fire started. Or the second one is obviously if the previous ones were unsuccessful, especially the last one was unsuccessful for those who live here who do it on purpose, they've decided to go into the nightclub and try and start the fire there because it's way less probable that someone will see them starting the fire. And um, unless it expands a lot, once already the fume starts coming out, you know, the flames, this is when probably people will start seeing it. and. Uh, Maybe like this, they will manage to draw attention to them back again. Let us know which one you think it actually is, either one or two, because so far police does not give any kind of reply to it because it's an open investigation. However, knowing what this area is going through right now, I wouldn't be surprised it would be another intentional fire in Benidorm town. Sending signals to the authorities basically to stop touching their houses and stop doing what they are doing. Don't think they will be able to do anything with it though, but this is how they are trying to achieve what they want. Probably that's the case. 
hopefully no more fires because you do not play with fire you do not play with fire because fire takes lives just imagine what we've had in valencia just a week ago a uh, very very hard situation 10 people lost their lives because firefighters told them to stay inside to block all the like airways the doors and stay somewhere with the um, like humid materials so that the fume would not come inside uh, but this is how people lost their lives in that building that's really really hard to see and when you see people actually uh playing with fire like this it's uh you know it's 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 very hard because you know what the fire can do you know how bad it can be and you still do such things do it the right way if you want your area fight for it legally if you have a right to do it do it legally don't do it this way because someone can actually suffer so it's very sad if they're actually doing it on purpose those who still live in that area it's very very sad and not fair at all and now let's have a short walk around and we'll let you know what the weather is looking like right now and what you might expect because today it's sunny nice and warm as you can see there's blue blue skies everywhere and there's not a single cloud in the area not even where Benidorm is or right behind the mountains but tomorrow it's going to be completely different you cannot even imagine what's happening these next following days let's go this is what we have right now just look at this gorgeous stunning blue skies with teeny tiny houses white houses which is really popular here in the area due to the sunshine no they do not absorb such a big amount of um warm of sun rays so it's better look at this gorgeous views isn't it one of our favorite places to go and right there in the corner you see the skyscrapers of Benidorm town each time there's more and more of them so each time you see more and more from this side what is waiting for us today it's sunny in almost all parts of Spain however tomorrow in the evening especially after 6 p.m more or less it's when we can see the rain coming all over Spain it will be hard some parts actually will have some storms but here it should be only raining not too bad though but still raining and quite cloudy in almost all entire spain but it's going to be only one or two days in a row and then the sun will be back again to our region which is the good news temperatures are slightly more fresh than they used to be before this is due to the fact that obviously it will be raining so temperatures will drop just a tiny bit however afterwards we'll have a, probably the day after tomorrow and then next week we will still have temperatures of around 21 to 22 degrees on midday and today it was supposed to be 16 17 but it's 20 degrees on the sunshine we'll see you in a new video bye dears